Hi, I'm Elisa. I'm a nurse practitioner who works with people who have pulmonary arterial hypertension, or PAH. This video was created to support you as you begin treatment with remodulin, triprostadyl injection. Together, we'll walk through an overview of PAH. We'll look at how intravenous or IV remodulin therapy works, and I'll try to give you a better idea of what to expect as you begin your treatment. We hope that you will use this video as a guide to help you as you start taking remodulin. If you have PAH, your body may not produce enough prostacyclin, a natural substance found in the body. PAH can lead to narrowing of the blood vessels in your lungs, and that can make performing everyday activities difficult. Remodulin is approved to diminish symptoms associated with exercise. Remodulin mimics some of the effects of prostacyclin, making it easier for your heart to pump blood through the vessels of your lungs. It may also help treat PAH symptoms like shortness of breath and feeling tired. As you begin taking remodulin, work with your healthcare provider to create treatment goals that are appropriate for you and make sure to ask at each visit how you are progressing towards these goals. Remodulin is the medicine that is delivered to your body continuously using a pump that you wear. Remodulin is pumped through a tube that will be located in your upper chest. You and your healthcare provider have decided that remodulin is right for you. Now let's talk a bit about what happens next. Your treatment with remodulin, IV, begins at the hospital. Hi, I'm Janet, and I take remodulin IV. While I was in the hospital starting my treatment, I worked with a team of people. There was my healthcare provider, my hospital pharmacist, the nursing staff, and the specialty pharmacy. This team of people was in charge of helping me and checking in on me as I started taking remodulin. They also helped to make sure that I was comfortable managing my remodulin on my own before I was discharged from the hospital. To start remodulin therapy, I had a temporary peripheral line placed in my upper arm that was used to start my remodulin. This was a narrow, flexible tube used to deliver the medicine. The procedure took about an hour to an hour and a half with a minimal discomfort to me. Once my line was in place, the remodulin was delivered continuously directly into my bloodstream. When my healthcare provider felt comfortable that I was tolerating the remodulin therapy, the peripheral line was replaced with a Hickman catheter which was placed in my upper chest. This was the catheter that I was sent home with from the hospital. It can stay in place as long as it doesn't get infected. Hi, I'm Lily, and I'm a nurse practitioner. Unlike other medicines, remodulin is not available from a traditional pharmacy. It comes from a specialty pharmacy. While you're in the hospital, you will work with a specialty pharmacy nurse to learn everything you need to know about managing your therapy. You will learn how to mix your remodulin, care for your catheter, and use your infusion pump. If you have already received your pumps, it's important to remember to bring them with you to the hospital. Your specialty pharmacy nurse is there to help you understand all aspects of using remodulin. Together you will walk through the steps as many times as you need until you feel comfortable. Before you leave the hospital, you will have many opportunities to practice using your pump. We want you to be confident in your ability to manage your treatment on your own. It's a good idea to invite a friend or loved one to join you for the training. It can be very helpful to have someone else who's available later to help you as you develop your own routines for managing your treatment with remodulin. Your remodulin will be started at a very small dose and that will be increased gradually until your PAH symptoms improve. Some of the side effects of remodulin IV include line infections, nausea, diarrhea, and headache. These are not all the possible side effects of remodulin. If you think you're having any side effects, make sure to discuss these with your healthcare provider. By working together, you will find the remodulin dose that is right for you. Once your healthcare provider is comfortable with you managing your therapy, you'll be discharged from the hospital to go home. There are pump options available for delivering remodulin IV. If you have questions about why your specialty pharmacy or healthcare provider selected the pump that you have been given, 
it might be a good idea to discuss the features, risks, and benefits of that pump and other pumps at your next visit. When I first started on Remodulin IV, I didn't really know what to expect from pump therapy. It took some time to get used to it, to find a routine that works for me. One thing I found helpful was to talk to someone who had firsthand experience with Remodulin. For you, this might be someone in your local support group or someone you connect with over the phone or internet. From your starter kit to patient support programs, specialty pharmacy nurse educators to family and friends, be sure to take advantage of the many opportunities that may help you succeed in reaching your goals on Remodulin. Be sure to consult with your healthcare provider about any concerns you may have with your therapy. Remodulin Tropostanil Injection Indication or what is Remodulin? Remodulin is a prescription medication used to treat adults with pulmonary arterial hypertension, PAH, WHO group 1, which is high blood pressure in the arteries of your lungs. Remodulin can reduce symptoms associated with exercise. Remodulin was studied mainly in patients with NYHA functional class 2 through 4 symptoms. It is not known if remodulin is safe and effective in children. In people with PAH who need to switch from epoprostenol, remodulin is approved to slow the worsening of symptoms. Important safety information for remodulin. Before you take remodulin, tell your healthcare provider if you have other medical conditions or take other medicines that may affect your use of remodulin by increasing the risk of side effects or decreasing the drug's effectiveness, have liver or kidney problems, your remodulin dose may need to be adjusted if you have liver problems, have low blood pressure or bleeding problems, are taking gemfibrozil for high cholesterol, rifampin for infection, or other drugs that affect liver enzymes, your doctor may need to adjust your remodulin dosage. Are pregnant, breastfeeding, or planning to become pregnant? It is not known if remodulin will harm your unborn baby or if remodulin passes into your breast milk. What are the serious side effects of remodulin? Continuous intravenous IV infusions of remodulin delivered using an external infusion pump with a tube placed in a central vein within the chest are associated with the risk of bloodstream infections and sepsis, which may be fatal. Therefore, continuous subcutaneous SC infusion delivered just beneath the skin is the preferred type of delivery. Worsening of PAH symptoms. Do not stop taking or greatly reduce your remodulin dose without consulting your doctor. Low blood pressure. Symptomatic hypotension. If you have low blood pressure or are taking drugs that lower your blood pressure, the risk of low blood pressure is increased. Bleeding problems. Remodulin may increase the risk of bleeding in people who take blood thinners, anticoagulants. What are the possible side effects of remodulin? In clinical studies of SC infusion of remodulin, most people experienced infusion site pain and infusion site reaction, redness, swelling, and rash. These symptoms were sometimes severe and sometimes required treatment with narcotics or discontinuation of remodulin. IV infusion of remodulin delivered through an external pump has been associated with the risk of bloodstream infections, arm swelling, tingling sensations, bruising, and pain. The most common side effects seen with either SC or IV remodulin were headache, diarrhea, nausea, rash, jaw pain, widening of the blood vessels, vasodilatation, and swelling from fluid retention, edema. These are not all the possible side effects of remodulin. Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You may report side effects to the FDA at www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. The risk information provided here is not comprehensive. To learn more about remodulin, talk with your healthcare provider. Please see full prescribing information at www.remodulin.com or call customer service at 1-877-UNITHERE, 1-877-864-8437.